Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing today? I'm burning up. It's summertime. It's not officially summer yet. Let me show you how I fixed a simple short on this little mighty mini shop vac. My mother uses it all the time. It's small, lightweight to uh, vacuum the stairs. So you'll need a, uh, a long number two Phillips head bit. It doesn't have to be this long. Two or three inches is suffice. Regular screwdriver works. And uh, just loosen these, these guys up. After you take the top part off, just get that clip and uh, loosen those up, pry this off. Then uh, pull this assembly out and uh, I just cut about maybe like five inches of the cord off that where it was shorted, where the short was. It's always close to the where it comes into the device and uh, of course it uses these fun kind of crimp holder things. I don't even know what you call these things, but they can be a pain sometimes. This one came out pretty easy. I was thankful just with a flathead screwdriver and prime. But um, so I did that. I had to add one wire nut in here, but there's a little hole they provide you that you can stick them in there and uh, cram it in there nice and neat hopefully. But you have to take uh, you have to take this off first which is just a half inch, regular half inch wrench and hold this part still. Take it off, it's just a 5 16th coarse thread. And uh, then this is next. Two little short screws hold this, this on. And uh, you can take this thing out and clean it and wash it, which we already did. I snipped the, the uh, the cord there and reconnected it with the wire nuts. There's a smaller piece in here that disintegrated and we just made a piece out of some scrap foam stuff like six by one and a half or whatever it should work fine. But, um, then uh, what else? Put it back together. I tried to oil the bearing, the top bearing anyway with some, some of this white lithium spray grease but man this thing turns so fast with these uh, with no load on it the RPMs are just incredible it's insane so I think it just slung all that off but um, I need some thicker grease in there but anyway I think that's about it just uh, put it back together in reverse order and uh, Got some little rubber grommets that kind of cushion. And I'll add these screws. Oh, this part goes on this thing, little filter goes on top of here. Super thin, it's about like paper. But uh, I got it a lot cleaner than it was, just rinsing it out with soap and water. So that goes on there. And this just fits back together. And that's about it. Oh, uh, so this part is kind of tricky. Whoops. Um, when you put this back together, you're, there's no spindle stop, you know. So you have to just kind of, I was holding it still, and just kind of keep working it like this. Even though the spindle's turning, but it's getting tighter. Like right there, it really grabbed. But, and then taking it off, just hold this still. Regular threads, right, right hand, regular thread. So... Yeah, I think that's about it. Have a good day, and now you can get your uh, ultimate Susie homemaker on. Turn me loose. Uh. Come on, baby. What happened? Yeah! That's it right there. That sounds great. Technical difficulties. Lover boy on speed with the uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Have a good one.